Hey guys, what's up? It's iJevin. How is everybody doing? I am back with another episode of Mad Pack 2. Hope you guys are all having a good day. Yes, I know, back-to-back -back episodes. Guys, the addiction is real. <laughs> I am so addicted to this mod pack. I cannot stop playing. It is ridiculous. So, uh, yesterday we, we worked on getting one of those absorption hearts. So, I was thinking of ways... Like, how could we get more of those, you know, and not have too much trouble? So, um, what goes in the middle of that thing? Recipe. Oh, oh, I've got it wrong. The lava bucket goes in the middle of it. So, every time I do this, I always forget to just learn what I'm doing. And so, from now on, I've got to remember to start throwing everything I do into the machine. Because <laughs> I always mess it up. Uh, I'm just making sure I don't have any more blaze rods. Okay, so let me go ahead over here really quickly. Um, and I was thinking, I know I get XP from smelting stuff, right? What if we smelted on a major scale? Like, make a shovel, put auto smelt on it, and go to the desert, and kind of go from there. So lava crystal, let's put that in there. Okay... And so, let's see, we'll put the Lava Crystal on there, and all I want on this is Durability and Auto Smelt. So, uh, we'll do that, and then I think we'll actually add another modifier to this. Uh, let me make sure that I don't have any more diamonds or gold over here. Okay. So, we'll grab a diamond block and gold, or a diamond. There we go, and so that'll add a modifier, just like a so. There we go, and so we have three modifiers left. So we should probably do a diamond and an emerald. Let's see. So let's try both of these really quickly. Um, so first off, the diamond gives us 500. It adds 500 durability, plus 500. The Emerald will do 50% of that, I think. So that gives us 800 durability. And then let's uh, let's grab one more Emerald and see what that does. So I can't put... You can't put two Emeralds on it then? Okay. Well, that's kind of dumb. You know, can I put another Diamond on it then? I just want more durability. That's all I want. No, you can't... Okay, you can only put one of each on there. That's, uh, that's interesting. Okay. Well, we have one modifier left. Um, I guess we could put moss on there. Do I have any, like, uh, mossy stone brick in here? I'm sure I might have some over here. I guess it doesn't actually, you know what? It doesn't even actually matter because we've already got auto repair. Uh, is there anything else that I might want to put on there, I guess? Uh, that I can think of. I guess I'll just put moss to just use one of the modifiers. Because there isn't really anything else that I want. There we go. Alright, so here's the game plan. Um, we're going to fly down to the desert. And we're going to put all this away. And we're going to make... Can you have two dev nulls? I wonder if you can. Let's go ahead and grab um, an apple. That would be pretty slick if you could. Uh, we gotta find more cobblestone. There we go. Okay, so you can. Now, I want to put glass in this. So when we grab all this glass from it being smelted, um, it won't do anything. And I did not learn glass in there, really. Well, don't I just fail? See, you see what I'm saying? Like, I have so much stuff to learn in my table. It's ridiculous. All right, let's go ahead and sleep. And I'm going to go ahead and fly down to the desert, and I'll meet you guys there. Alright guys, I want to go ahead and test it out here. I have not been able to find a desert. Turns out the uh, desert that I thought I had had down here was actually just a map error. Uh, so it wasn't actually a desert. So we're going to take this piece of glass and we do get XP, which is a good sign. Let me grab the dev null. 
Open that, put glass in there, and then you. Okay. So that, yeah, you do get a lot of XP from that. Um, yeah, that this should work, actually. Now, the only thing is finding sand, since I can't find a desert. Pretty sure I just saw a dungeon, too, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe not. I don't know, but, um... So it looks like we'll be able to get four hits out of this each time, which works pretty well. We're already up to level 17. The only thing we gotta watch is our hunger, and I think we should be good to go. So I guess I'll, the only the only problem I'm gonna have now is just finding sand. Uh, hopefully we can find a desert because I feel like we could probably get a lot of XP if we could find a desert. So break all of this. Oh, did it finally break? Uh, yeah. Alright, well, I'll repair and keep looking for a desert. Alright, guys, I've got some exciting news. Look at our hearts. That's right. Probably thinking, Jevin, what's up? I found an artifact, a new artifact, that gives me health boost. Yay! So we are officially on yellow hearts now, guys. That's right. Still looking for a desert. I have not had the best of luck trying to find one. Uh, I'm going to keep grinding until I find one, though. Hopefully, I can find one relatively soon. If not, I might have to scrap this idea for a little while and uh, do something else because it's not it's starting to not be worth it. <laughs> so, I'll be back. All right, guys. I am back. So, I come across this village, right? Look who we have here. My old buddy from Superflat. Hey, Carson. 64 curry rice. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to collect you, my friend. But first, let's see what delicious Nami tasties you've got for me. Uh, so a hearty large meal, that will literally give us like everything we ever needed. Um, go ahead, do your little, your little dance, my friend. There we go. French toast! Oh, that's awesome, dude. Okay, so let's go ahead and collect this guy. There we go. Uh, still looking for a desert. I'm actually flying out to where we respawned uh, up here because I saw that there was a savanna there. So I'm kind of hoping that there will be here. Look at how many places I've been. <laughs> That's right. Uh, so I'm just going to keep looking, I guess. I I'm not going to give up now. All right. I knew flying out here would be worthwhile. I found our desert. Uh, so we're going to set up shop here. First thing I need to do is just put this down. Probably just put it down right here. Uh, and let's get some cobblestone in there. I'll probably do like four spaces, I think. Like this. There we go. Uh, other than that, we should be good to go. So I'll probably just uh, either land and do it. Again, remember, we got to be careful not to uh, hit lava. I'll probably do it uh, as many as I can at once, just like so. So we can, we can typically get about four hits in before we run out. Then let's go back and collect our XP. And the good thing about this is, is it looks like the XP is not limited. You know what I mean? Like when you normally kill a monster, when you've got like 29 XP and it gives you like one bubble. We're on level 25 and it's still rising pretty fast. So uh, I am just going to completely wreck this desert now, guys. It's on, bros. All right, guys. Book number one. I uh, I went back to my base and grabbed my transmutation tablet, and I thought it would be easier to collect XP if we we're always recycling it. So uh, there is absorption heart number two. Um, by the way, guys, a little trick with your table here: if you pick it up with your stone, uh, it will always give you uh, all of your EMC back. So now I just need to go ahead and get thirty more levels a bunch more times. All right, folks, on to number two here. Let's go ahead and get what we need. One, two, three, four. Book. There we go. I'm probably only going to do like one or two more. <laughs> um, it takes quite a little while to get all this done. So uh, let's go ahead and right click. There we go. Three absorption hearts. And look at the mess I have been making here. I've been just trying to like get it all at once here. So I'm just gonna go around and then come back through and um I, I wish our I wish I would have made the shovel with more durability. It's the only problem. 
All right, guys, we just had Halloween happen here, and uh, it was pretty sketchy, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> um, I almost died, but I lived through it, and it's all good. Uh, so, now I've actually got four of these trick-or-treat things that I want to try out. Um, I have never messed with them before, so I don't know, you know, what to expect, but we'll see, I guess. There's, uh, I've almost got full health again. Yeah, those freaking. there we go. Alright, so like I said, I've got four of these. I want to try them. I'm not sure how to use them, though. Ugh, take your treat. Oh, wow, we got gold, soaring taco, and some enderpearls. <laughs> we got some emeralds. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Not too shabby. Come on! I hate these guys so much. There we go. So yeah, I, oh, I got 11 emeralds though, so I, I'm going to call that a win. <laughs> uh, I would love to get the rest of the XP. I'm just not sure I'm going to be able to because of all the mobs that have spawned. Uh, this guy over here is infernal. Uh, and then there's just like little mobs all throughout this area now. So uh, we're so close. I might try to finish it and get one more, I think. We'll see. All right, guys, I am back. So I've been in the process of sort of cleaning up our base here. Uh, I think we're going to move soon, and so I wanted to sort of get prepared for that. And so what I've done um, is I've went through all my chests, and I've pretty much gotten everything that I wanted out of these. Anything that you see here is pretty much something that I'm going to leave behind, I think. Um, really isn't much in these. Uh, it's just like random, you know, old, like, armor that we use that we don't touch anymore. You know, maybe old juice or something like that. Like random potions and heads and stuff that we'll never ever touch. Uh, so what I've done is I've pretty much put everything into this tablet here. We're going to pick it back up in a little while. I'm also making uh, notch apples now instead of regular apples because, well, notch apples are better. Um, I was just trying to think about what else I've done. So here's all the stuff that I have saved. Uh, I've got our four infusion stones, all of our seeds, uh, you know, our Nebdol for glass, Naga trophy, division sigil, our um, our guy here. Um, I was just trying to think about who else I got. I got all of our uh, presses, all of the ingots that I have left over, and I'm in the process of uh, you know, wanting to collect this, but I need to uh, kind of get rid of this stuff first. So. We are doing good. I would like to make a couple more apples before we move because it is going to be a sketchy time. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it though because it really does take a lot of EMC to get that done. Um, so I was thinking if there was anything else I wanted to do before I moved and I can't really think of anything else. Alright guys, so for the final part of this video we're actually going to fight the Lich in the Twilight. So I'm getting ready for that. We're making a sword. Uh, I have made this Manulin Raper. <laughs> raper. It is a raper, that's true, but it's a rapier. Uh, I have used a manulin sword blade, a cobalt tool rod, and a paper crossbar. Uh, so the reason for this is because manulin does more damage, uh, cobalt swings faster, you know, all that good stuff. So right now this thing has got four um, of those. And so let's go in here and let's get a couple things first. Uh, this. And a diamond. And then we need an apple. And then we need a diamond block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So this will add two more modifiers to our sword. There we go. And six modifiers, and we are literally going to make this entire thing quartz. I have no, like, reason whatsoever to put anything else on there. So let's start off with six stacks, and we'll make um, two of these into blocks. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Five at a time? That's not bad. You know what? Let me go ahead and do this. This is going to take a second. All right, guys. I am back. So, not bad, not bad, plus 20 attack damage, and if you think about it, we could have a like almost nearly double that 
if we had all the rest of the modifiers, but we don't have Thalmic in the pack, and we don't have another star. So, with that being said, this is the best sword that we could possibly make with the situation that we have. Um, probably wondering, like, Jevin, why don't you just use a cleaver? You, uh, you worked on that just before this situation. Uh, the cleaver is good, uh, don't get me wrong, but the cleaver is not as good during this fight because, um... The uh, the guy will... He basically uh, has, like, armor on. Like, the spinny armor. Oh, of course it's raining. Um, so he has the spinny armor on, right? And that armor uh, essentially will protect him. Unless we have, like, some kind of uh, arrow or, you know, something like that. And we don't have any arrows. So, with that being said, the best attack that we can do is with the rapier... Uh, since the rapier ignores attack damage, or not attack damage, but since it ignores uh, armor, so pretty much the best we can do. I'm just gonna keep all that on my inventory. Um, I hope I don't have. I hope I didn't have to bring that head with me from the naga to get in here. Um, and it's always raining. I would prefer not to fight him when it's raining because I might have to fly outside and the rain could kill me. Um, Let's hope for the best, though. Now, there is a way to um, really... That would be my luck. <laughs> that is Jevin's luck right there. Jevin Luck 101. Alright. Let's wait for this to be over. I really need it to stop raining, like... Hmm. Um... I was thinking maybe we could kill some stuff and sleep real fast. Yeah, if it would stop raining, that would be wonderful. But I'm not seeing any rams. Um... Uh, man, like, here's the thing. I, I really can't fight him while it's raining. Like, I, I just, I can't put that risk, you know, like, we're taking damage every time we step out. That's not something I'm willing to risk. So, I might either wait till it stops raining. Was it stop raining? No. So, I might wait till it stops raining or uh, try to get a bed or something here. So, I'll be back. All right, guys. So, here's the deal. I think I'm just going to try to go in there because the longer that we stay here, the more of a chance that um, the, the rate's going to increase and grow faster. And that's not good. So how far away are we from the top here? Let me get rid of this. So I think before we actually go in there and fight him, let's go ahead and nom an apple. Hopefully that region will. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I don't see him. Um... I... Okay. Naga? Hello? I like how it's just all John Bam paintings. <laughs> oh no, you didn't! <laughs> Stop running for me! He's hurting himself more than he has a thousand health. Wow. Uh. Kill the minion. Uh, three hundred and eight. Two hundred and seventy-three. 
hurting himself more than he's hurting me. He's got a lot of health, that's for sure. Where's he at now? Naga? Or Lich? Uh, about that. Where the heck did he go? That's how I kill. Oh, he must be outside. I'm not going outside if it's raining. Lich, please. So... Do you guys see him? I don't see him. <laughs> he ran! What a little girl! There he is. Uh. Go ahead and kill Zy minions. I didn't even realize there was another side. Crap. Um? Did he go down again? No? Uh... Naga? Or, why do I keep calling him Naga for? Lich, please. Lich... I don't know where he went. Is he back here? Random? Oh, is that him down there? I thought I heard him. Hmm. I don't know, guys. I'm not sure what to do. Maybe we can get him to teleport again. I, uh... Well then, um, this is interesting. Like, I hear him. Is he in there? No, I don't want to, I don't, I won't get poisoned. It won't matter. Hmm. Well, um, yeah, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm not sure what to do. He's definitely down. Maybe... He's gotta be here somewhere. Because his name is showing up. Oh, no, no, I see him. There he is. Come to daddy. And let's say teleported again. I would love to be able to get like one more than one hit on him at a time. Wrecked. Yeah. Wow, we just did so much damage to him. Oh, he one upped on me. Oh, that sucks. Too bad my sword's OP, bro. There we go. Get all that XP. Awesome. Uh, I have way too much stuff on me. Get rid of you. What else is down there? Did we get the trophy? Where did uh, the trophy go? 
Do you guys see a trophy in my inventory? Because I don't. Hold on. Let's do this. Let me put that, 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 that. There it is. That. That. Is that everything? Okay, so quest book. Let's see. It better have accomplished it. Uh, start, start. Uh, oh, inventory's full. Um... Damn it! Uh, here, I'll plant some saplings. Anything else I can get rid of? I can get rid of the firefly. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, so we got... Uh, oh, those are good boots. Look at those. Recharging diamond boots of toughness. Um, health boosts when equipped. Slow repairs itself when held. Wow, those are really good. It's a shame we need our full set of armor to fly. And let's go ahead. The green heart canister. Booyah. Mm, mm. Let me throw that down. Of course I throw the wrong one down. Let me throw that one down. Okay. I actually I just want to see where our health is at really quickly. So we are almost, we're doing good. What is the next quest? Really? Go out of here. Uh, let me fly up. Uh, Spore. So the mushroom might seem like, uh, so we need to kill one of the mushroom guys. It's the boss guy, this one. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's that other reward? Huh. Well, we're doing good. There's an Urgast. There's the... I don't know what this one is. Or that one. That's Keyhan, I think. That's the Ender Dragon. Okay, well, we're doing good. We're definitely doing good. Uh, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Mad Pack. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. This is Ijevin. Peace out.